Okay. Well, if not, we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. We are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down our mind and our bodies here today. Tucking our tummy in at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of that back. With the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, silent meditation, five natural breaths. As we breathe our palms above, above our heads, coming into that seated salute, palms are together above our heads, our heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. As we interlace our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, we're going to allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. That chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. You may feel this in your lumbar spine as well as your shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Our palms are separated. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth. We get a gaze over that right shoulder. Coming into that seated twist, maybe breathing our left hand to our right knee. Coming a little deeper in that twist. Noticing how this feels in your spinal cord, your lumbar spine. Tummies are tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that seated star. In that star, our arms are slightly out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. Breathing that right hand to that left knee, coming deeper in that twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that seated star. Chin is up, flowing into that seated extended mountain. Exhale into salute. Breathing our palms back down that heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Two breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. In our bound position, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. This here is a hip opener. In a diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In a butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. That is the difference between the two poses. Breathing our hands to our feet, if that feels good, as we use our fingers to massage our toes, our feet, keeping that back straight, heart chakras lifted. Just taking a moment to show a little love and attention to our feet, for our feet carries us everywhere we go. Two more breaths. We're going to find that pause and we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we lean forward, you'll feel it a little deeper in your inner thighs. So only hinging forward as much as it feels comfortable for you. As we allow our torso to come downward towards the earth, our shoulder blades melt forward, our head melts downward towards our feet. Yes, a lot of body to soothe as we open up these hip flexors for natural breaths. Two more breaths.
using our hands to push our bodies up. We're going to use our hands to breathe our legs together, coming into a stand pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Backs are straight. Tummies are tight, tucked in at our navel. Shoulders relax downward away from our ears as we gaze forward. Palms flat on the earth or flat on our laps. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two breaths. As we flow our palms above our head in that salute, chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. Exhale into prayer, palms come heart center. We're going to take that right leg and cross that right leg over our left leg with that right foot flat on the earth. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. Feeling that twist, we can option to breathe this left shoulder over that right leg and gaze over that right shoulder. This is our Sage Marici. This is a spinal twist. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're going to uncross that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, seated half forward fold, or a complete forward fold if that feels good for you, connecting your hands to your ankles or the bottoms of your feet. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to that staff pose. We're going to lift our left leg up, crossing that left foot over that right with that left foot flat on the earth. Breathing this left hand behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us, gazing over that left shoulder. We can option to breathe this right elbow over that left knee, coming deeper in that twist, says Marici. Feeling this spinal twist. Backs are straight, gazing the eyes down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back into that staff pose, coming into that half forward fold or complete forward fold. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. This is a full body stretch. If we're in a complete forward fold, it is a full body stretch. Allowing that heart chakra to connect closer to the thighs. Eyes are gazed down. Three more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies up. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our hands and our knees. Tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. As we drop that tummy downward towards the earth, coming into that power pose, chin slightly up. Noticing how this feels in the lumbar spine. Flow into that cat. Spinal cord flows up towards the heaven. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Breathing that tummy in. As we do a couple of cat power rotations to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we are back at table. As we push our bodies up to our damn dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding that pause, we're going to breathe that right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, gazing at that foot. Ooh. Two more breaths. As we breathe that right foot to that right hand, runner's lunge, right foot to right hand, runner's lunge, holding his pose. Two breaths. Straightening that right leg, coming into the pyramid pose, torso relaxes over that thigh. Feeling that stretch. Head melts downward towards the knee. Mm. Hanging out here for three breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. 
slightly gazing up, flowing into a triangle. Breathe in that right hand to that ankle or your block. As we extend that left arm up in the air, triangle pose, opening up, lifting that heart chakra. Mm. Tummies are tight, backs are straight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, framing that leg pyramid. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale into runner's lunge, bending that right knee. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, by pedaling our feet left and right, tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna find that pause, three-legged dog, opposite side, left leg flows up to the heavens, gazing at that foot. Two more breaths. As we breathe that left foot to that left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side, holding a pose. Two breaths. Flowing into that pyramid, straightening that left leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts downward towards that knee. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling the body relax and soothe. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Slightly gazing up, coming into that triangle, left hand to left ankle or yoga block. As we breathe that right arm up in the air, feeling that heart chakra lift. Heart chakra is opening. <sighs> Holding his pose, tummies tight, backs are straight. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to run his lunge. I'm sorry, pyramid. Coming to that pyramid first. Feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Exhale, run a lunge, bend in that left knee. As we flow to down dog, gazing at the feet. Shift that weight forward, high plank, tummies are tight, building strength in the upper arms, the back blades. Three breaths, two breaths. Holding that pose, holding it. Dropping down to our thighs, cobra or up dog. If we're in our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. If we are, if we're in our cobra, our thighs are connecting to the earth. We can even drop down to that baby cobra if that feels good. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet forward, complete forward fold. Head melts downward towards the earth. Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath. Exhale. This here is a complete forward fold. I'm sorry, this is a complete body stretch. We are lengthening here. Three more breaths. Mm. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gaze forward, backs are straight. Mm. Flow into complete forward fold, yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating that stance. Let's flow into that wide-legged forward fold. Notice how that feels in the body. Wide-legged, we are in that straddle pose. Mm. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side, just feeling that movement, rocking that body from side to side. Noticing that when you rock and sway, you may feel this pull behind your legs and your hamstrings. Just noticing how that feels, feeling that body relax. 
We can option to flow into a rag dial if that feels good. Connecting those hands to the elbows if you choose. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Finding pause, half forward fold. We are still wide legged, wide legged, half forward fold. <sighs> Exhale, we're going to keep our wide leg stance coming into a guided stance, God guided stance. Bending those knees, coming into the cactus hands. We are now working our legs, the lower parts of our bodies, our quads, our gluteus maximus, our calves. Feeling strong here in our goddess, God stance. And we can option to pulse up and down if we choose or rock that body from side to side, noticing how we work extra muscles. If we do that, that is just an option. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold that pose, feeling that burn. Exhale, standing star, straightening those legs, straightening those arms out to the side like a star. Palms are upwards towards the side, legs are wide legged. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Holding the pose here in our star, feeling strong, feeling powerful. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down to that guided stance, bending those knees. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Cactus hands. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting those hands to the ankles, head melts downward towards the earth. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. This here is a counter pose. It's allowing the body to relax and soothe the muscles we just worked. Six breaths. Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, breathing our legs together. We're gonna come into a, let's come onto our forearms. Dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. We are gazed back at our feet. This dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. This is an inversion pose. Walking our feet closer to our body as much as we comfortably can. We also can option to pulse up and down on our tippy toes. Noticing that when you pulse up and down on your, on your tippy toes, it's like ready to launch your body up into a headstand. But we're not going to do a headstand unless we know how. Otherwise, we just can stay here in our dolphin pose, just relaxing. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Drop it down to our knees, coming into that puppy pose. Buttocks is high in the air. We're going to extend our arms in front of us, coming into that extended puppy pose. That heart chakra chest comes downward towards the earth. The forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth or your ear. You can turn to the side with your head and connect your ear to the earth. Or that third eye chakra connecting that to the earth, allowing us to relax and go inward, connecting and soothing to our environment and our puppy pose. Optioning to breathe our palms above our heads in a prayer hand. Puppy pose if that feels good for you as our shoulders melt forward. Taking that nice, deep, intentional breath. Exhale. 
silent meditation, six natural breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Flowing into that extended puppy pose as we spinal wave our bodies out of this pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that spinal wave. Allowing your neck, your cervical spine to also flow into this wave. Working that entire spinal cord. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming back to tabletop as we drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing to our down dog, gazing at the feet. As we breathe that right foot to right hand, exhaling up to warrior two. Working the lower parts of our bodies, building strength here. Just holding this pose, feeling strong in our warrior. Four breaths. Chin slightly up, two more breaths. Exhale into reverse warrior, feel in that body stretch back, that slight back bend, chin is up, heart chakra is open. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to warrior two. As we flow to warrior one, twisting that body forward, arms are straight up in the air above the head, or we can come into high lunge when we twist our entire body forward, high lunge, or warrior one. Three more breaths. Exhale into side angle, crossing that right arm over that right thigh, side angle. Extended side angle, we'll extend that left arm up in the air. We can option to, rock, to wrap that left arm around our back and gaze over that left shoulder if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale, twisting that body forward, pyramid pose. Straightening that right leg, torso relaxes over that thigh. Mm. Head melts downward towards that knee, three breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Low into runner's lunge, bending that right knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the foot. As we breathe our left foot to our left hand, flowing up to warrior two, opposite side. Feeling that body strengthen here. We are working the lower parts of our bodies. Palms can be face up in our warrior two or face down, whatever feels best for you. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is lifted. Three more breaths. Exhale to reverse warrior. Gazing up at the heavens. Flow back to warrior two. 
three breaths. Exhale, warrior one or high lunge. Body twist forward, both arms are up in the air. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three more breaths. Mm. Exhale to extend the side angle, crossing that left arm over that left thigh. Feeling that side angle, we can come extended, lifting up that right arm, feeling that stretch. Mm. We can option to wrap this right arm behind our backs if that feels good. Three more breaths. Exhale, twisting that body forward, pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. This here is a counter stretch, allowing that body to soothe. Three breaths. Exhale to run this lunge, bending that left knee. Low into down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Low into high plank. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Dropping down to cobra or up dog. <sighs> Let's come into our up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Up dog. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Now exhale down to cobra. Thighs connects to the earth. Hmm. Noticing the difference in how the up dog and the cobra feels in your body. Though they both look very similar. They are not the same pose and they feel slightly different. Exhaling down to that baby cobra, bending those elbows, torso comes closer to the earth. Noticing how this feels. As we exhale to a Spanx pose, our forearms are flat on the earth. Our shoulders are not shrugged, keeping our shoulders away from our ears, so not being shrugged. Have a control of that body here in that Sphinx pose. Forearms are connected to the earth. That heart chakra is lifted, that, yeah, that chin is up. Slightly gazing the eyes down or closing them. Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Four breaths of silence, Sphinx pose. Two more breaths. As we flow down to our tummies, coming into a Superman, Supergirl, lifting our legs up off the earth, breathing our arms in front of us. And like we are flying, we are on our tummies. This is a slight back bend. That chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. Now we can act like we're flying or we can simply stay still. We are working the backs of our legs. We are working our back muscles. We are working our arms. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, we're going to swim our arms behind us, coming into a locust pose. Locust pose, yes. Feeling that? We are continuing to work the backs of our legs, our gluteus maximus, our arms, our back blades. Chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
holding this locust pose, we're going to come into a sleeping locust, just allowing our bodies to just relax down, shoulders melts down, coming down to our forehead, our third eye chakra. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward, holding this sleeping locust. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. As we feel our heart chakra connect to the earth. As we feel our shoulder blades melt forward. As our body is relaxed. Our mind is relaxed. Silent meditation, five breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, lifting that body up, back to that locust pose. Heart chakras open, chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. As we connect our right hand to our right ankle, we are in that half bow pose. We can come into a full bow pose if we choose by connecting that left hand to that left ankle. Now we're in that full, full bow pose. So come into a half bow or a full bow pose. Whatever feels best for you, lifting that heart chakra off the earth, noticing how that bow pose lift that heart chakra further from the earth. Chin is up. This is a back bend. Three more breaths. Optioning to switch sides if you are in a half bow pose, switch to the opposite hand to ankle. Two more breaths. Exhale down, sleep in locust. Just allowing the body to relax and soothe. Head comes down towards the earth. Mm. Two more breaths. Flowing up to that locust pose. Swimming those arms forward, Superman, Supergirl. Coming to that Spanx pose. We are on our forearms. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, meaning we're not shrugged. Keeping those shoulders away from the ears. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. And we're gonna float one, two hours. Our backs relaxing and soothing. Hugging our knees into our chest, knees to chest pose. Shoulders relaxed to the earth. Mm. Bowing that body to relax and soothe. Hugging those knees into the chest. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Lifting those legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. This is also called waterfall pose. Legs on the wall, AKA waterfall. <sighs> Allowing our legs to come towards our torso. Using our hands to breathe our legs closer to our bodies. Feeling that stretch behind your legs and your buttocks, your gluteus maximus. Connecting our hands to our feet or the lower parts of our legs, allowing those legs to come even further over our body. Kind of like we're going into a plow pose, but we're not going to go into a plow unless you choose. We're simply just relaxing in a pose and feeling a stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Coming back up to legs on the wall as we become wide-legged, allowing the legs to 
come apart, just feeling that wide-legged stretch. You'll feel this in your inner thighs, pointing your toes. Mm. And if we choose, we can connect our hands to our toes, breathing our feet closer to our bodies, feeling that stretch. This is an option. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing those legs back in, legs on the wall. Breathing those knees into the chest, hugging them in. As our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, left side, feeling that spinal cord twist and relax and soothe. Breathing that right arm out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder. Mm. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As our shoulders connect to the earth, eyes are gazed downward or closed. Maybe use this time to go inward and focus. Five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. As our knees flow to the right, recline spinal twist, opposite sides, feeling that spinal cord decompress. Shoulder blades are connected to the yoga mat. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. Eyes are closed, the gaze down. Bodies are connected to the earth. Silent meditation, five. Natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. As we flow into a happy baby, lifting those legs up in the air. <sighs> legs come on the side of the body, hands come between the thighs, connecting the hands to the feet, happy baby. <sighs> this here is a hip opener pose. We can also rock or sway the body from side to side using the earth to relax and soothe and massage our spinal cord. Or we can simply just stay still in our happy baby. We can also go into a shoulder press by lifting our legs over our shoulder. Or flow into a pretzel, a pretzel pose, whatever feels good for you. Five breaths. Three breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Exhale, hugging our knees into our chest. Hold the neck pose, keeping our knees high in the air. We're going to breathe our feet flat to the earth. We're going to work on a bridge pose, placing our palms flat on the earth next to our buttocks. We're going to use our feet and our hip flexors to lift that gluteus maximus, the buttocks off the earth. Just lifting. This here is a pelvic tilt. We are squeezing and rounding that gluteus maximus when we lift that buttocks off the earth. Filling that bridge. Coming deeper in the bridge, we can walk our hands underneath our backs, interlacing our fingers, walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. You'll notice your chest, your heart chakra comes higher up in the air. Now we're in that deep bridge and we can squeeze, lift that gluteus maximus up nice and high, nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. As we know, our buttocks is the biggest muscle in our body. We can lift it, we can firm it, we can work it. So optioning to cross up and down or squeezing it tight, whatever feels good for you or a variety, variety of both. For eight natural breaths, bridge pose, working at gluteus maximus. This is a pelvic tilt. Six more breaths, feeling that burn. Slightly pulse down, then pulse it back up, squeezing it nice and tight, squeeze, squeeze. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Let's pulse it down and let's squeeze it up nice and tight, squeeze, squeeze. Two more breaths. Uninterlacing those hands, relaxing that gluteus maximus to the earth, hugging those knees into the chest, relaxing and soothing here. As we take this right leg and cross it over our left thigh, pigeon pose, reverse pigeon pose, and you'll notice this is working at right gluteus maximus. It is massaging and soothing. Three breaths. Two breaths. Reverse pigeon opposite side, switching sides, crossing that left leg over that right thigh, breathing that leg towards the body. Pigeon pose, opposite side, relaxing and squeezing. We're relaxing that left gluteus maximus. Hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale back, hugging those knees into the chest. As we cross our feet at our ankles, tightening up that abdominal muscles as we lift our bodies up, coming into that bolt. Pulse, feeling that abdominal crunch nice and tight. Maybe doing a couple of pulses, just working at abdominal muscles here. Just feeling it as we flow into that bolt pose. Any bolt pose variation that feels good for you. High bolt, regular bolt. Tummies are tight, backs are straight or rounded, whatever feels best for you. Gaze forward, that chin is up. We are working our core our abdominals. Two more breaths. Breathing those hands to our chest. We're gonna pulse our hands from side to side, working those obliques for eight breaths. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, finding that pause, rooting our hands to our feet, our feet to our hands, and just playing around. <sighs> We're going to find that pause 
and we're going to extend that right leg out to the sides, feeling that stretch. This here is a boat pose variation. Feeling the body balance here. Breathing that right leg back in as we extend that left leg out to the side. Feeling that stretch, boat pose variation. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. <sighs> Exhale, leg back in. Breathing that right leg out to the side. And then we're gonna breathe that left leg out to the side. Optioning to slightly bend your knees if that feels good for you. We're in our boat pose variation. We can come wide-legged by allowing those legs to come further apart if we choose, or we can breathe our legs inward together, noticing how and what parts of the body, core muscles, it works when we're separating those legs or breathing them inward. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into that domino butterfly, just relax in the body. Backs are straight. And we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. Allowing the torso to come just slightly close to the earth. Shoulder blades melts forward, head melts down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to that diamond or butterfly, backs are straight. We're going to flow into a seated cow. Lifting that chin up. Flow into a cat. Flow into a cow pose. Exhale back to cat. Come into our diamond or our butterfly. As we breathe our legs and let's come into a cow face legs. One leg goes on the bottom, one leg crosses above the opposite. Positioning the body to be comfortable or if this pose isn't good for you, any easy seat, any seated pose that feels good for you. As we connect our hands to our feet and massage our toes, massage our feet, with our tummies tight, our back straight, and shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. We're just showing our feet a little love. Maybe our eyes are gazed downward or slightly closed, allowing us to go inward and focus on self. Three more breaths. Finding that pause. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Palms come at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. Our chin is relaxed. Our cheeks, facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and teaching training here today. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.